Hey everybody, this video brings us out to Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. And the reason why we are in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania today is because we are at the Footprint Church, which did not used to be a church. When I was a kid, this was Phoenix Lanes. This was an old bowling alley. I used to bowl here back in the day when I was a little kid. Honestly, this was not the bowling alley I frequented when I was a little kid. When I was a little kid, I actually went to the Limerick, Limerick Lanes or Limerick Bowling Alley, whatever it was, in a couple towns over. My, my mom was in a bowling league. I was in a bowling league there as well, which is kind of crazy to think that I used to be a big time bowler when I was a, when I was a little kid. But anyway, I did come out to this, this, this lanes, these lanes every so often, many birthday parties out here, all kinds of different events out here I used to go to when I was a kid. But now it is a church. And honestly, I would love to go inside and see what it actually looks like. I wonder if it actually has any like remains. It has to. It has to still have some remains of the old bowling alley inside. But I wonder if it still has like the lanes or you can still go like back to where the, the bowling pins were and stuff like that. I have no idea. I, again, I would love to go inside there. There are a couple of cars here. I'm sort of hoping maybe somebody like comes walking out to see what I'm doing and then I can go, can we, can we go inside? I would just love to see what it does look like inside here. If you've actually been inside here, if you're from the area and you've been inside here since it's become a church, leave a comment down below. Let me know because I am very, very intrigued by the idea of what it possibly looks like inside there because it's a church now, but I mean, it's an old bowling alley. So I'm, again, my, my mind wonders what it could possibly look like. Look at that, it has the old sort of arched ceiling like old bowling alleys used to have back in the day. That is pretty amazing. It'd be so cool to actually go inside there. But anyway, the reason why we're out here today is because I want to show you guys some remains of the bowling alley that do still exist without actually having to go inside the uh, the actual building itself. Even though I would love to go inside the actual building, we're not going to go inside the building. Instead, we're going to take a look at something here that sits in the side little area. I actually had this idea when uh, when this closed down. I remember when this first closed down, I thought to myself, I should buy, I should buy this property, this the, the property we're on right now and the field right over there. I thought I should buy these this property and turn it into a, a flea market. The, the closest flea market is like 45 minutes away, 30 minutes away, something like that. I thought it would be really cool to have like an indoor flea market inside there, maybe like permanent vendors inside there and then non-permanent vendors here in the field. Unfortunately though, it was bought out by a church and now they're in here. Plus I don't have probably hundreds of thousands of millions of who knows how probably millions of dollars property around here literally goes for like millions of dollars so who knows how much this property costs maybe back then not so much but now i'm sure it'd be crazy anyway besides that i want to show you guys something pretty awesome that still remains from the bowling alley check this out look at the bowling ball playground that is what i call this every time i drive past this they've actually taken the old bowling balls, I'm sure when they I'm sure when they bought this property, there were bowling pins, bowling balls, probably bowling shoes, all kinds of bowling equipment left inside there, including bowling balls. And they built this playground for the children that go to their church and they use the bowling balls as the decor around the fence. How awesome and amazing is this? That is just so cool. I remember when they when they built this, I remember thinking to myself, oh my gosh, look at that. They have the bowling balls out here. That is so cool. What an interesting and unique way to repurpose and reuse bowling balls that were left behind, that were just in your building when you bought it. Some of them are cracked. Look at that. See what the inside of a bowling ball looks like. That is pretty amazing. I've actually never stopped out here to really look at these before. I've driven, again, I've driven past this hundreds of times, probably like four or five times a week, I drive down this road and I see these off in the distance. And I've, I've been thinking, I need to do a video on this, on the bowling ball playground, as I call it. Look at this one. It's all sort of, who knows what happened to that one? Well, how do you, how do you do that to a bowling ball? Interesting. What do you think did that? Comments down below. Also crazy. Some of these are just cracked in half. There you go. You can see it inside. It's like styrofoam or something inside there. You can see it. There you go. Look at that. Weird. That's what the inside of a bowling ball looks like. Kind of looks like, I don't know if it's styrofoam or what. I'm not entirely sure what's inside a bowling ball. If you know what's inside a bowling ball, leave a comment down below. I've seen the inside of golf balls. I've seen the inside of baseballs. I don't think I've ever seen the inside of a bowling ball before. So pretty awesome, pretty cool. Look at this. That is so neat. I feel like I probably should put my fingers in here. 
I think I buy a spider or something, but look at that. I haven't been bowling in years. I kind of want to go bowling now. That I'm talking about bowling and looking at the bowling balls. I really want to go bowling now. I'm in the mood to bowl. And on top of everything, they still have old Phoenix Lanes signs up. Look at this. I don't know if these were on the side of the building or maybe these were, there was a marquee out here at one point for the lanes. These may have been part of the, part of the mar marquee. I'm not entirely sure. Do you remember, if you remember where these Phoenix Lanes signs once were, once they, where they once stood, leave a comment down below. Were they on the side of the building? Were they inside the building? Were they on the marquee, the big sign out front? You guys leave a comment down below. They got a fire pit out here. That's pretty awesome as well. So pretty cool. That scared me. The horse, I, I will be honest, the horse for a second there, skip, there's plastic out here. The horse for a second there scared me. I saw the corner of my eye. I did not know what it was at first. I thought maybe, maybe it was actually a, an animal that scared me. But anyway, if you remember where these Phoenix Lanes signs once stood, leave a comment down below. Was it inside? Was it on the side of the building? Was it on the marquee? Pretty awesome. So remains of Phoenix Lanes do still stand. I can only imagine that probably inside the actual church itself or the old bowling alley itself, there's probably other remains of the church, if not just the fact that the lanes are maybe still in there or some of the old mechanics are still in there or whatever. Probably, I'm sure some of the, the way the, the old lanes were set up with the, maybe the counter and the I don't know, like that little like entrance area. I I don't know. I don't know how much I don't know how much they renovated. They could have gutted the whole thing. The whole entire building could have been just completely 100% gutted and completely transformed into a church, which would would make sense. I mean, don't get me wrong. Gutting the whole thing, putting in a stage and a pulpit and stuff like that, that would make sense if they did something like that. So who knows? Maybe they did that, but also maybe some of the old remains of the actual bowling alley still remain inside. And I wouldn't be surprised if it did. But if not, at least some remains do still stand out here on property on or should, should i say in in and around the bowling ball playground as i like to call this that is pretty awesome again really cool use repurposing of the bowling balls that were left behind kind of wonder what maybe happened to all the bowling pins guarantee you they had a bunch of bowling pins in here i actually had a friend i have like have a friend who belongs to his local bowling alley he bowls and he gets, he has this thing set up with the, with the guy who runs the, guy who runs the actual bowling alley. He gets all the old bowling pins. So they, they would normally just take the bowling pins, throw them out, throw them into, into the trash or recycle them or whatever they did, the bowling pins. He actually gets those bowling pins. He said, I want them, give them to me. So he has a ton of bowling pins like in his basement. And what he does with them is he, we, we take, or he takes them. I've, I've taken them with him to shooting ranges. He's also a big, big fan of guns. I'm, I'm, I myself am not a big fan of guns. I mean, I have nothing wrong with them. I'm not. I'm not saying no to guns or anything like that, but guns do kind of scare the crap out of me. But I have gone to the shooting range with him to shoot guns and like automatic, like semi-automatic rifles and stuff. It's crazy. I've shot some crazy guns at the, at the shooting range and we've set the bowling pins up and like in a, on the distance and, and shot them down. It was pretty awesome. It was pretty cool. So you can do all kinds of fun things with bowling pins. I don't know why I told you guys a weird story about me shooting bowling pins with with handguns and semi-automatic rifles and all like those old World War II rifles where you like you have to like cock the thing back and forth and the, the, the shell, shell casing comes flying out by the way make sure you wear your your hearing your your earplugs when shooting one of those anybody out there who was a like World War II vet who used to shoot those things without earplugs in I don't know how you hear anymore I I mean regular guns are very very loud but shooting one of those those old World War II rifles I don't know what they're I forget what they're called leave comments down below if you know what they're called but those old World War II rifles which he had and I've shot is one of the loudest things I've ever heard in my entire life and the reason why I know how loud it is is because my friend fired it thinking I still had my earplugs in and I hadn't put them back in yet and I honestly thought I was deaf for a minute there I, all I heard was ah, and I couldn't hear anything he was talking all I saw was like I, it was scary. I thought I was deaf for a second. So there's your, there's your life lesson for the day. If you're going to go to a shooting range, wear the, wear the ear protection. You need it. Anyway, weird tangent. We got completely off topic there. We are here to talk about what remains of Phoenix lanes. Again, I don't know where, what remains inside, but what remains outside is the bowling ball playground. Pretty awesome with the old signs and all the bowling balls on the fence. That is awesome. That is so cool. I had to show this to you guys. I've been wanting to pull over and document this and show this to you guys for a while now. And who knows, maybe someday we'll actually get to go 
inside. I would love to go inside the church. I need to contact them. Maybe I'll contact the church, find out who runs it and say, hey, is there, are there any remains of the church still inside? And if so, can I come out here and document it and take a look at it and show the world what is what is still around from Phoenix Lanes? I might end up doing that. So, all right, guys, if you want to see that, leave a comment down below and I'll definitely contact them. But all right, wanted to show you the bowling ball, the bowling ball playground because it is pretty awesome. The old Phoenix Lane signs. If you ever bowled at Phoenix Lanes, leave a comment down below. Like, like I said, this was not the, the, the bowling alley I frequented as a kid. That would be the Limerick Bowling Alley. But again, for those of you who do not live in the area, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but there's another bowling alley in Limerick, Pennsylvania, a couple towns over. That's the one I used to frequent all the time as a kid. But I did occasionally come out here with friends and for birthday parties and things like that. So I've definitely bowled at Phoenix Lanes back when I was a kid. And if you did, leave your comments down below. I want to hear your stories on Phoenix Lane. So, all right, guys, that's it. I'm going to let you guys go now. Just had to show you this. That is too awesome, too cool. Some old remains of Phoenix Lanes are still here in the form of an awesome bowling ball playground. All right, so that's it, guys. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for links to Spreadshirt, where you can grab yourself retro, rest up t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon. Do you can help supporting the show and keeping the show going, so I really do appreciate that. All right, I forgot to do a hashtag yesterday. I told you guys, you guys wanted me to, wanted me to continue to do hashtags, but I told you guys I was gonna forget to do them. So hashtag for today, if you watch this video all the way to the very end, um, uh, let's say um, gun rant, hashtag gun rant, because I completely went off topic there for like two or three minutes. So hashtag gun rant. If you actually watch the entire video all the way until the very end. But all right, guys, that's going to do it. So like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you in tomorrow's video. All right, again, the bowling ball playground here at the old Phoenix Lanes. Pretty awesome. Pretty cool. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next video. Have a good one. Bye.